I can't wait to get it started. Turn the key. Boom. Get that sound. Put the shift in drive. And take a ride. Welcome back to Nick's Garage. This little shop near Montreal is where Nick restores, repairs, and rebuilds some of the best examples of classic American muscle cars for customers from all over the world. Nick's followers will know that he's been making great progress with a very special rebuild. This one owner 1969 Charger 500 is approaching the day when it will be shipped to Texas to be reunited with the man who bought the car new but has not seen it in person for decades. Today, Nick has his A-team on the job once again and together they plan to get a good portion of the interior squared away. Welcome to Nick's Garage. Here we are another day working on Eugene's Charger 500. I've got Manny and Robert with me here today. And uh, we're gonna start doing some parts of the interior, like the uh, floor console with the shifter, seat belts, door panels, and a few chrome trim pieces. Well, you know, it's gonna take time, so we're gonna do as much as we can. So if you guys wanna stay on board and watch what we're doing as teamwork, let's get started. Because as we say, we need to get this car ready for early spring for Eugene. And we had this car here for a while, and now that we've got the car here, we've got pieces coming in every day. Now that we know what I need, so our car is here, so I've ordered so many pieces, and now it's time to put the whole package together. So, I got man here working on the console, just into little details. Robert's lining up the seat belts. After that, we're gonna put in the uh, shifter, console, seat belts, door panels, and a few items. So you guys stay tuned and watch what we do. I know we've got a lot of new viewers on our channel. We keep getting new viewers every week. So I just want to put you guys on an update. This is a 1969 Dodge Charger 500. Only 392 units made. Yes, it's very special. It started off as an RT Charger when it came off the assembly plant. I think what Chrysler did is they sent him to Creative Industries and had the car fixed up for NASCAR, more aerodynamic. So what they did is they took out the flip headlights that came on the RT packages and they put a 68 or 69 coronet grill which is flush with the bumper which is for more aerodynamics and also they've also recessed the back glass the back window on the RT charger or any other charger in 1969 it came down here you can see the uh, the old frame so what they did is they cut, took out the back window and they brought it out further, much longer, so it could be aerodynamics. Also, changed the rear pillar over here and also made the trunk a lot shorter, like about eight inches. So this is what made the Charger 500 very unique. And also Eugene has bought this car brand new in 1969, just before, well, he had, he had it on order just before he went to Vietnam when he got drafted there. But anyways, when he came back after a while, this car was still sitting at the dealership waiting for him. And of course, he bought it, took it, and took it home. And here we are so many years later. So uh, it's going to be something. It's going to be very shocking to him to get this car back because the last time he's seen it was 1974 driving it. 1975 when he tried to get it started, maybe put on the lights. He's seen the car in storage in the mid-90s. And now all he's done is seen it through pictures and videos since then. Since we have it here now, it's almost going on almost two years. We are putting the whole package together and make sure it's a turnkey car. We built the engine, the tranny, the differential. We had it painted. Now we're on our way doing the interior. So Eugene, if you're watching, we're doing our best time ready for you for uh, early spring. And uh, so far, everything's looking great.
You know, it is a pleasure to work on rare cars. We're working on a lot of muscle cars. My shop here, I grew up uh, over 48 years working on the American muscle cars. Okay, I grew up with Mopars, but I love all GM, Ford, Chrysler products, classics, muscle cars, or whatever. Everything comes into my shop, all kinds of jobs. And you know, I try to do the best with what we can. Yes, we are a dying breed because you know, this is the older group, not the new generation that works on these cars, it's us. So I like I've got Robert, Manny, I got Dan, I got Ivan that work with me on these cars. And I gotta say a great thank you to them. And you know, we are old school. We love these old cars. We all have the passion for this. And this is what I look forward to. And my next thing here on this unit is once I get it started, I wanna take it for a drive. Then I got this car and that car and that car. And they just keep coming in nonstop. You can't be a specialist on every bolt and nothing, you know, everything. Sometimes we do our research. We try our best. So, so far, you know, I think it's looking good. I think we're doing a great job. And uh, let's hope it all goes well. Let's see how it goes when we take it for a drive. I wanted to start by putting the door panels on. So here is the armrest. We have the same armrest. So Robert had them clean. We have the same original armrest. Their chrome is going to get replaced by reproduction, which are nice pieces, good, good copies. And we have the inner window uh, handles. We're going to replace that. The interior uh, trim, like the things that hold the panels, the frames, the brackets, the braces, the regulators are all in. We also bought a reproduction set of seat belts are right here because the other seat belts are worn out. And also the panels are going all the same, four panels are going in, the doors and the quarter panels, which are here. You know, we took it apart and we wanted to do some cleanup. And this was what we found in the pocket on the driver's door. And you know, Eugene is from Sparta, New Jersey. And I think he uh, went on a road trip to Illinois with this car. So uh, we found this in the uh, pocket as we uh, started cleaning the interior. But you know what, this is a historical piece and it's gonna go back in the pocket the way we found it. And Eugene, you're gonna get it back for sure. And we have it here. And uh, this is probably a historical piece that's gonna come with the car. Just like the other pieces that you installed on the engine, all is going back to you. And we had the uh, shifter restored by Stefan. We bought a reproduction uh, knob right here. It's an automatic car. I've got Manny working on the console, doing a little bit of details and adjustments. It is the same original console. All we did was put a new wood grain and uh, uh, what else? We just had it painted black. It's the original piece. We'd like to put back the, uh, as many original pieces as possible and the chrome, the trim, as much as possible to the original car. Because he bought the car new, he's the original owner. It is a rare car. I like to put back the many, many pieces as possible that are genuine. Some might be almost perfect, but if they're good enough, I think they might be good. If it was my car, yes, I'd put them back in. And for that reason, that is why we are going this way. You know, sometimes you buy uh, reproduction stuff, but sometimes, you know, these historical pieces have history. They came with the car. Sometimes they're almost 100% perfect. Sometimes they're very close to being good. Like in this case, Manny and I were just looking at it. You know, sometimes it could be a little bit more cleaner, but this is the genuine piece that came with the car. And it's got history, and like Manny was saying. This, this panel actually, you know, it's like has Eugene's hands on it. You know, right. like all the ripples, all the little like scratches or whatever. It came from Eugene. He's the original owner. It's not like somebody else. So I think he'd appreciate the fact that it's the original piece that, you know what, grew with him That's over right. the years. And with know? the car. And with the car, yes. of course. Yes, you could get a newer piece. Have a, a brand new piece that's perfect, has no painting, has nothing, but it has no history. This thing has history. It has it's, history. It's his original piece. Yes, and after all, it is a matching numbers car. It it's is. complete. Every old piece is gonna go back this with him. It is a surviving unit. It is know? a surviving unit, and you know, it's a And it's in great shape. And it's in great shape. I love the details from the factory, carpet, vinyl, chrome, dome lights, shifter indicator. Beautiful, just beautiful. Nice glove box. It's gonna work with the key. And uh, you know what? I think I, it deserves to go back in the I, car. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with you on this one. So, uh, Manny, as you wish, put it back. Thank you, sir. And uh, I, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. It is the genuine piece to the car. I'm just making That's some adjustments cool. to make sure it's as good as it can be. And a lot of the moldings were going back with the same ones. We had it polished, you know. We're trying to do our best with, uh, with the chrome moldings. Okay, it had some light scratches. We got them buffed out a bit. Pretty good. And you know what? We're just trying to put the cars best we can together. 
You know, this part has lived. It has it came life with in the car. It. Exactly. It has an essence in it. It. I know it's 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 a not it's an immaterial object. Okay, it's not human. It has it's not sentient. However, somebody who is sentient has so a human has touched this, has molded it, has scratched it. Yes, but it lived. And it after all, life. yes. And after all, it is not a reproduction part. No, it's, it's original ori from Chrysler. It's the original unit. So uh, go ahead, finish it off, uh, Manny. Thank, Thank you. you, Nick. All right, let's keep going with. Got to show my passion. You know, for you guys that have never restored a car from A to Z, you know, removing every piece. For example, let's take apart a console. There's so many pieces to it. You take out a dash, there are a lot of pieces to it. An engine, a transmission, suspension. There's a lot of work that goes through on a full restoration. I'm sure a lot of you guys know and a lot of you guys do not know. Yes, it takes thousands of hours to put the whole car together, taking it apart, restore it, clean it, paint it, and put all the parts together and make it look like brand new. It's time consuming, and let me tell you, it takes passion to put it back together like the way they came from the factory. You try to make it as best you can, make it better than the factory or just as good or whatever. Any car you build or you restore and you put your time and effort into it, okay, it also takes money, it's worth a while. You guys, trust me, I've done it, been there before, and it's great. You know, you just can't calculate every hour because sometimes you go beyond. Don't forget, there's traveling time, there's phone calls, there's running around, making phone calls, doing this, doing that, cleaning this, looking for products to do something, and searching, going to the post office or going to the UPS. You know, there's a lot of time involved. There's not just the time you're on, on the car, putting it together, searching for screws, going in the inventory, ordering this, ordering that. A lot of work is involved. You know, sometimes you find surprises and you need something, or you find an item that you need and you call everybody, nobody has any stock, especially now with the pandemic, it's even worse. And we had this car now, ever since we started working on it, the pandemic came into effect. So we're having a little few issues with a few things. And I've noticed sometimes when you want to order parts or back order, and sometimes you receive parts, it's not the correct part, or it's not good enough. So sometimes you look for another source, or sometimes you get somebody to make a piece for you, or you have to think out of the box, make it work, make it right, make it look good, and make it be solid. So, like I said earlier, it takes a lot of work to put a whole car together. Trust me. I've restored a few of my personal cars in the past. I've been doing it for many, many years, and every time I restore a car and I finish it, everybody wants to buy it, every time. You know, I had my Kowalski car, that's one of my last cars I restored, which is a couple of years ago, and I, I had a few buyers on it, but I cannot let it go. You know, the, the offers were pretty good, but you know what, it's my car, it's my passion, my dream car. It's also part of my YouTube channel, it's part of my shop, it's also part of my history, and you know what, and that is very hard for me to sell it. So for that reason, I still have it. I'm gonna enjoy it. Okay, with the pandemic, nobody's seen the car except for the visitors that came to my shop. So uh, I wanna keep it and show it off. And now when the pandemic's over, hopefully one time in the future, I like to take it around to car shows, gatherings, and have a good time and show it off. Robert, how are you doing back there? <laughs> Under the carpet. Yeah, I'm trying uh, just to locate the hole like I did here for the seat belt. Yes. The other one is, I found the nut is already okay, in. Okay, so you're looking for the holes to put in for the seat Yeah, belts. we have to do that before we put the console in. Yes. So these are the four holes for the bucket seat. Oh, uh, yes, so yes. So that side is done. done. So, so I'm, now you're doing... I'm doing this side. Okay. To get everything ready before we get in with the steering column and the console. The console. Nice. So it's coming, it's coming. Good man, good man. It will man. be nice, it will be nice. Very nice. I can't wait to see this put together, man, let me tell you. It's looking great, you guys. You know, I, I still haven't found the back seat divider. I'm making a search on it today. I'm calling everybody. 
I don't care what it costs. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna get it here so we can put it in the back seat yeah. whenever we got the back seat divider. Well, so we'll, we'll start with the front for today. Okay. And then uh, we'll probably uh, next week we'll do the the back uh, the back portion. Okay. Let's hope we find that back seat divider. Yeah. I have the original back glass to install. I have the moldings polished. I got the back original glass here. We're just gonna clean it. I got the urethane, so I've got somebody who's gonna come in one day and have it installed. That's not something I'm gonna do it myself like I did with my challenger, I had some issues. But you know what? I think we have the correct clips. We got the original moldings, the original glass, get the right thing as a urethane, put it on, and get it done. That's another job to be done. Look, this was cool, man. I, I didn't know about this until our viewers told us that the, uh, on a muscle car V8, it's chrome. On a regular V8 or any uh, 440 that's on a big Chrysler Newport New Yorker or Imperial, it's black. But on a muscle car engine, the breather is chrome. And I have to admit, I got to thank my viewers on this. You know, sometimes, you know, you, when you read all the comments, which I do, you get a, got a, you get a lot of good information. So I got to thank my viewers on our channel, on Mixed Garage, let me tell you. And I want to tell you guys, thanks for watching and throwing in some good comments, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. The original clips. So this is our, our wire that uh, powers the light to the console. So it's factory running on this channel here and then hidden under the carpet and hold in place with these clips. So everything is hidden and will make our lights work on the console. Compare this to your average, I don't know, Prius. This will be long, you know, Priuses will be long gone and this one will be way past it in terms of survivability. These things, people say they weren't, they were throwaway cars, not as bad as today's cars. Today's cars, once they failed, good luck trying to find parts, good luck trying to have them work again. But these, these cars will live forever or very close to it. As long as the passion still exists, there will always be a home for them. These cars, you know, like, they, they have character. They're, there's, they have a life of their own. I know they're in it. I know that there's no blood running through their veins. We, we embody, you know, like, personal tra uh, characteristics, human characteristics to these, these parts, these vehicles. But the thing is, they talk to you. These cars talk to you. I tell you, you know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm straining, you know, give me another gear. They say, oh, you know, easy on the curve. My tires are starting to let go. The new cars, you're desensitized. You can't feel it. It's, you're grabbing it and you're driving it in. You know, as much as, I, you know, I'm a Ford guy. Yes, you are. And a lot of other vehicles, uh, manufacturers do it too. They put, they pipe sound from the air intake into the vehicle so you could feel the sound of the engine. So you okay. can feel what the car, no need on these cars. You feel it. It comes through the floor pan. It comes through the dash and the steering. You feel the car. And you, you know, like I always say, these cars, you drive. They have character. You feel these cars when you drive them. Absolutely. And I've also, I've also said that every piece has a story behind it. That's right. And that's why we try and conserve as much of this vehicle as possible because it came with the car. They're original pieces. They're in good shape. I always, they deserve to live on. I've always said that. Anyways. Okay, I got it out of my system. Keep up the good work, Manny. <laughs> Thanks, Dick.
happy with that, I can be happy with that. Now I'm happy with that. I think Nick will be happy with that. Okay, we're good. Robert has restored his steering column. It's the original piece that came with the car. He had a nice clean and painted. We've got our gasket, we have our coupler, and now ready for installation. So if you guys want to take it, Absolutely. your boat package is here somewhere. Okay. And yep. after, once we got the steering column on, you can hear the horn, the flashes, and the brake lights working. Ooh, so let's take nice. it from there. I just want to mention that the, this particular bracket here, I didn't restore it. I left it as is. I thought it was so nice. I said I won't bother with it. I painted everything else, but this one here, it looks shiny and good. I said, leave it like That's that. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know what? I would have done the same thing. <laughs> okay, let's put it on. You will have to bring the carpet down so oh, wow. and fight with the brake pedal. And uh... <laughs> I'll help you guys. Don't when, worry. When it's a manual, it's worse, but uh, automatic won't be so. And bad. you know, so it, this it, goes on the coupler. Yeah, we'll do that later. Let's just uh, tap it in place. And we have three screws for uh, the. You know what? You guys can work on the inside, and I'll line it up outside. How's that? You can do that. Okay, you let's do it. Light? Yeah, I'll get a light. I'll get my glasses, and let's get going. We also, we, uh, I found an NOS uh, flasher switch that you put on. Great. Let's go, man. Pass it on to Manny, I'll bring all the uh, hardware. Please. I took my boots off for this one. You want it on the passenger side, man? I think it's easier. And I've got, we've got all the original hardware that goes with the steering column, all the same pieces that came off with the car. Here we go. All this is going to be put all back into place. The uh, screwdriver. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. I got this. The bolts in? Yep. Yeah. Perfect. You need a light here? No, I'm good. I can see it. I just need to uh, carefully, gently. Oh, this nigga up the other side. No. Not yet. I'll bring the screws. Okay, so we got the coupler and the steering box, and it's got a spline. So this has to line up for it to go in place, like so. Watch this. Hold on, Manny. Okay, push it in. Keep coming, there you go. And after that, we put the lock pin, and it's in place. So now we'll continue installing the inside. There you go. Need a light? Bud Light. I love the way it just... Uh, Popped into place? Yeah, it just slid in place. Okay. That bag is for the gas pedal accessories, you guys. Okay. I'm going to take it. Yes, I'll take care of it. Okay, keep going, you guys. Wow, we've got the steering column in the car. It's a good thing I changed my socks today. Yes, sir. All right, now we got the steering column in place and we hooked up the backup light switch so the brake light should work. Okay, Manny, let's see if it does work. Okay, put the flasher off. Okay, wait, push the brake. Hold on. Brake? Push the brake. Okay, we got something with the flasher switch. Only the right side goes on. Hold on, let's see flashers, what happens. Okay, that's the right flasher. Try the left flasher. That's the hazards. Check hazards. The hazards. Okay, we got no bright lights on the left hand side. Okay. But the dash that lit up like a Christmas tree. Is the light up on the dash? Yep. Okay, no left flasher. Yes, put the left flasher. Yeah, it's working. So that means the brake light should work, look. Or is that the park light? Press the brake, Manny. 
Okay, put on the park lights too at the same time. Parking lights on. Hold on. There. Okay, okay push press the, the brake. Okay, we have an issue on the left hand side. Okay, left flasher's working. Put the right flasher. Okay, why? Hand meter's working, good. Put the hazard we only have on the right side. Huh? Uh, yes, so you know what? If we need a new switch, I have one on order for a 69 charger. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so we need a new flasher switch. But anyways, I got one on order. You know what? I never know this stuff. You know, you have it on backup. So we tried the uh, serving column on the, for the first time. It seemed like it was working on the bench, but it's not working on the car. But you know what? We're gonna fix it, don't worry. There you have it. Nice. Yes, sir, a lot of finger marks, but we'll get it polished. We had the park lights restored by uh, Stefan. They're the same original lights that came with the car. We had them cleaned out. The only thing we did was replace the light bulbs. We also had new gaskets. We had the lens polished. The socket's cleaned out and uh, painted with a uh, chrome silver paint inside. Inside, so before you put the lens, you want a bright color when it's on park light or flasher. You want it to be bright so it can be seen from far, far away. And there it is. You guys, maybe it's just one no. contact on the plug. Yeah, that's what we're looking at now, Nick. Okay. After double checking all the connectors and the switch, Manny and Robert soon have all the lights working as they should. Aren't they bright? They're working great. Now let's take a look in the back and check out the uh, four-way flash on the back tail lights and brake lights. Turn them off or? Nope. No. We're gonna. Is that oh, gorgeous? on the hood also, eh? Check Is it out. Is that gorgeous? It's beautiful. That on caught my attention. Now see, I want to see the four-way flash on the tail lights right now. I want to make sure all the bulbs are working. Great, just great. All right. Hey, just for fun, put the reverse light on with the shifter. Okay. I want to see those backup light lights light come on again. Hold on. Key on. Thank you. Perfect. You can turn them off. Thank you. All good. All good. Hey, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. You know, we have a lot of uh, charges we've seen on the road that a lot of people put the wrong light bulb in the two inner. They're supposed to be park lights, not white lights, like a light bulb, Lemon 56, which is made for reverse. But this is the correct way. All six light bulbs should be in park elimination, not bright, like so. So we're just about to install the console and the shifter. But let me just give you a little breakdown. When the car came in out of storage, Everything that was chrome was spitted like so. The whole car was like this, you know? And um, we couldn't re-chrome this or anything like that. So what we did is we bought a new knob, a reproduction. It's a nice reproduction unit. And the, uh, this is exactly like the uh, original one. But the shifter we had re-chrome and redone, restored. This is the original shifter that came with the car. So what we're gonna do right now, we gotta install the shifter and the console. And also there's wiring in the console for the courtesy lights and also for the shifter. So we well, had that all cleaned up, it's the original harness. So now we're just ready to about to install the console and the shifter and, uh, and let's see how it goes. This is a unique piece, man, look at that. This is beautiful. And you know, these uh, lights work with the dome light and it's all beautiful, it's all factory. This is the bulb for the shifter. You know, you don't want to, you want to see what gear you're in when you're driving at night. So this is a very, very important light bulb. And like I said earlier, or like I've always said, every light bulb has to work on the car. Every, every bulb. One. Perfect. Okay, let's get going. This way, I'm pretty All sure. right. Sounds good. This is nice. I like this. You know, every piece that goes on the car adds value. So beautiful. Okay, there's also a lot of history behind this car, you guys. This one unique, special car, let me tell you. I've had quite a few cars, but this one here is special. I know at least one person that would agree with you. Who would that be? Eugene. Ah, oh, of course. You no, know, I can't wait to see the console in place with that shifter. 
Then we start putting the seat belts in, and I'd love to bring a seat that Ivan has done. I want to show the detailed work, and then before we get it installed, we're going to turn it over so you can show your viewers what kind of work Ivan has done. That's the same person that installed the headliner. We also had a couple of comments that the, uh, we installed the headliner, there was no insulation. You guys, there is an insulation on the uh, roof of the car before we installed the headliner. But as we came along towards the front of the headliner, we installed the insulation. So yes, there is an insulation behind the headliner, just to let you know. All right, now we bring the console in? Yes, please. Okay, Robert, bring it in. I just love the detail work on the lights inside, beautiful. And they absolutely work. Okay, go right ahead. There we go. That's one humongous piece, you guys. It's good. And even the door is closing the way it's supposed to now. It's it's structured again. I, I next piece please. Right <laughs> here. It's like making a puzzle, you know? When you build a puzzle, you have all the pieces starting to come together. Here's another piece of the puzzle, and this is heavy metal. This is a uh, heavy white metal. Here we go. This is yours. Yes, sir. This is very heavy, man. Thank you, sir. Take care. Good luck with it. Translation, hurry up, <laughs> and be careful. So much detail, eh? Every piece has to fit perfectly or else it won't fit in place. It's time consuming, but you know what? It's got to be done right. It's got to look right. And, uh, I don't care how long it takes, it's just gotta be done right. And you know what? We're gonna keep doing it until it's done. You know, from where I grew up, started my training in a technical school for uh, automotive mechanics back in 1974. And then I started working at gas stations, then working in by, behind the back alley of my parents' house. And here I am today with my own shop, working on a lot of classic cars, which I've never imagined back in history. You know, here we are today, working on a lot of classic cars which has always been my passion, my favorite. And you know, all these guys that help me also have the same passion for cars, they're all car people. And, and here we are today, and all the little detail counts for me. And I just love it as it comes together. You take something that's dead, put it away, never come back to life again. And my job here in my shop is to bring them all back to life and give them back to my clients and start enjoying life. After all, as we get older, you know, we want to enjoy the uh, comforts of life what we used to have in the past. Like a lot of people had these cars, they grew up, they had him, they enjoyed him, then they sold him, got married, had kids. And now most of us today, after the house has paid off, the kids have grown up, for some reason, everybody my age has gone back into this hobby and passion. So here I am today, helping out as many people as I can. And uh, this is what I enjoy. And I have my team working with us, and this is what we do. You know, in a shop like mine, you gotta find people that have the passion to work with uh, jobs like this. 
Some people do, some people don't. But you know, it's, it's nice, it's even better when you have a guy that works with you and has a passion for it, like myself, and put something together and you, you know, you work on every car as if it's your very own. So it's very important for me that when you have someone working with you, you know, and uh, you gotta have the same feelings like myself. Like Robert has, Manny, we're doing the best we can. And sometimes when you have to do outsource work, we have a few people that help me with that uh, kind of uh, work. So we're in good hands no matter what we do. And you know, I have to admit, I have a very supportive family because I spend many hours here, many nights, many weekends, trying to get this project out. So I gotta be very thankful to my family. And of course, I wanna also give a special thanks to all our viewers that watch us here on Nick's Garage. Thank you guys. Okay, while you work on the console, I'm gonna start with installing the seatbelts with Robert. Here we go. That's gonna be a nightmare. Why? There's numbers. Okay. But there's no sheet to tell you what the numbers are for. You're kidding. <laughs> wow, that's great. Here, this is number 10. This is gonna be easy. I know where this goes. Yeah. These are easy. And the two that goes on the top are gonna to be easy. They have an elastic with a snap. Okay. Okay, we got these brackets out uh, for polishing for the shoulder belt, yeah. so we're not gonna do that. Circle Z. Quite a few pieces, eh? You know what, we're gonna open them up to find out. Got a new puzzle here. They give us the numbers on the package, but no numbers on the instructions where they go. So we're gonna have to figure it out. On the right and the left is the, uh, where's the buckle? That's where's the console. So we need two of these. We have three. Why? That might be the rear seat. Okay. Where's the front? We got the front outers on this side. Because you know when you got three seat belts, that means for a rear seat, three passengers. Exactly. Okay. We're on the right track. We'll figure it out. I knew it. Okay. Well, you know, when you go racing, you got seat belts that they have an expiration date. But in a public vehicle, there's no expiration dates. But the reason we're changing them is because we want it to look new. The other ones looked fatigued and worn out, so we wanted to end the buckles were pitted. So we bought a complete new set, exact reproduction of the originals, and it's much easier and cheaper just to buy another set and put them in. And uh, this material turned green on the old one. Yeah, you know, black turns into green as it fades away after so many years. That's cool, man. Let's put them on. Good stuff. We're on the right track. All right, so we got the steering column in, we've got the console in, and the next thing is we're putting in the driver's seat. So, uh, can I uncover it? That's, yeah, you can uncover it. Christmas. Christmas. I got it, I got it. And this is the seat that Ivan has uh, upholstered. Yes, we've done, uh, we did the uh, seat tracks. Here, let's go show some of the detail like Ivan's done with his son, right here. Look at all the unique work. Check it out, the tracks were done. The, uh, the sliders were lubricated or the ball bearings that uh, make the seat go forward backwards. And also I want to show that the back part, the uh, material over here, I went from the same color of black vinyl and uh, had it reinstalled because this cover was back order from legendary and many other sources that we couldn't find. So Ivan made his own material, matches as possible, as close as possible, which came out pretty good to finish off the seats. And here we have them today and ready for installation. The e-body is plastic, but this one's covered with vinyl. It's a uh, cardboard, it's the genuine piece. We've used the same cardboard covers. All we did was place the vinyl as close as possible, which Ivan has done. And also, look at that, so beautiful, eh? Beautiful work, check it out, all nice and tight. I can't wait to see the seat in the car. And it's attached to the floor pan with four brand new nuts. Okay, you guys, let's get it installed. Just watch the seat track. Be very careful with the seat track. You don't want to cut your fingers, but it's just spring loaded. Okay. Okay, I'll open the door. You get the door for me. Yes, sir. Go. You can pick up the screwdrivers. Yeah, I got it. Move the belt on the back.
I wonder if I should mark them so we can see them. But you know what? You know what? Uh, guide me in, Nick. Okay, I'll try to guide you in. All right. You get in? You good? Okay, we're in? Yeah. Give me a second. Tell me and I'll just lift okay. it up. Okay, right here. Right about there. Let's see. It's about there. Yeah, hold on. Once you got yours, we're going to get the other side. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's forward. Okay. You want to pick to find the holes? Here you go, man. It's hard. Maybe we should have marked it with a no, it's liquid paper. Hold on. Back's in. I should have marked it with a white pair. Okay, you got it. You got it. You got it. You know, I broke a nail. <laughs> I lost this one here. It's okay. Oh. We'll get it, Nick. Okay. We'll get it. I guarantee you that All one. All right. It's just that I was, I was being overly gentle with the chair. No problem, man. It's all good. It's just that I lost this one here. Nick, don't worry. We'll find it. Okay. Look at that, hey, this is beautiful, man. No, that's, uh, that's something. They're all genuine keys. That is awesome. All genuine. Starting to become look like a car right now. This is cool, eh? This is awesome. I love the work Ivan has done. His son gave him a, gave him a hand to put it together. And how does it look from this side? Wow, it looks good, man. God, it looks so sharp. Magic moment, every piece that goes onto this car looks very special. Beautiful, beautiful. You know what, don't worry, we're gonna, the wire is hanging underneath the dash, that's all gonna be fixed. But you know, we're gonna test everything piece by piece. Looking good, looking good, love it. Okay, so now we got the passenger seat to bring down. All right. Manny, you want to bring it down or yeah. Robert? We're gonna we're gonna double team it. Make sure nothing happens. Sure. Safety first. You bet. You know, as we are putting parts into the car, we're making more space upstairs for the next project. Watch your step. Watch your step. Be careful. There you go, you guys. This is what a finished product should look like. Okay, there we go. It's your turn. Take your time. You know what? In each individual seat, you know how many parts are to it? So many. But then again, you know, it's all done previous before the car gets into my shop. And you know, the seats were done earlier with the back seat. But, uh, you know, here you go. And, uh, you know, it's nice when you have everything ready, stored, until the car comes in. Then when you start putting the foundation together, seats are ready, in the car, done. I'm just relaxing right now. Go ahead, hold the pressure on so the, so the bolts, uh, the nuts yeah, underneath. That's right, Robert's going to lock it down right now, should I say, or should I say, tighten it down in place. Going good, eh? Hey, you know what's important? That both seats line up. You know, the backrests have to be straight. When you tighten them down, they don't have a certain angle. So it's gotta be perfect. You got a sure, sure thing that has to be lined up. You know, when you're in the back window, let's finish it off, tighten everything in place. And then when you're in the back of the car and you're looking through the back window, you wanna make seats are perfectly straight. Not like this, like a back four, four, whatever. If you look at it this way, it looks perfectly lined up nicely. Manny, Robert, it's starting to look like a car again. One word. Yeah. 
Wow. Wow. Wow, we, we just emptied out half the uh, storage facilities upstairs. Nice. Who's gonna be the first to send it? That would be you, sir. Okay, let's try it. I won't put my shoes inside. Yeah, don't put your shoes. Actually, it's time to put paper on the floor, but you know what? Let's test Ivan's work. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The springs, yeah. just pushing down on it. The oh, yeah. I, I, I just could tell you one thing. I can't wait to get it started. Turn the key. Vroom. Get that sound. Put the shifter in drive. And take a ride. Take a ride. Let me tell you. To I take a ride to uh, to infinity. I want to give a special thanks to Robert and Manny who uh, spent the weekends here and a few nights with us putting this car together. Without their help, it takes me a lot more time. But you know what? I want to thank you guys for putting some time into it and getting this car done. Okay, guys, thanks for spending some time here at Nick's Garage, putting the charger together slowly. And you guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click on the like button, and share it with everybody else, and I love you guys. Thank you for watching us here on Nick's Garage. And you guys, if you look down below the video, we have a whole bunch of merchandise that you guys can buy. So whatever you like, buy it, love it, wear it, and enjoy it. And help spread the word of Nick's Garage. And if you have some time, check out our Patreon page. We have extra content and you guys can watch it and take it from there. And we'll see you next time.